What's up and welcome everyone to a new video here on the official MTG Arena YouTube channel. My name is Eshlizzle and today we are playing with some new old cards because Cancel Tarkir is finally on MTG Arena. And in this video, we are going to use the Delve cards to cheat out Atraxas on turn 3 in this Neoform combo deck. I don't think I've ever had like this many wins <laughs> on turn 3 and turn 4 because there are so many like all-in aggro decks in Explorer Best of 1. And this deck is just, you know what, you want to put some aggression on the board. How about a turn 3 A8 with lifelink and vigilance? <laughs> and these decks, they just, they just fold. There's nothing they can do. So if this sounds good to you, let's have a look at what we're actually playing in the deck and how the combo works. Okay, so in this deck, we are using the Delph creatures from Cans of Tarkir to cast Neoform for a turn 3 or turn 4 Atraxa Grant Unifier. So the Delph mechanic allows you to exile cards from your graveyard while casting a spell and each card you exile pays for one colorless mana. So if we have five cards in the graveyard, we can cast either Hooting Mandrills or Sultai Scavenger for one mana. Now, if we do this on turn three, and we also have blue and green mana open while we're at it, we can then cast the Neoform. And in order to cast Neoform, we have to sacrifice a creature, which is either of these two Delph creatures. And then we can search our library for a creature card with mana value equal to the sacrificed creature's mana value plus one. Put the card onto the battlefield with a 1-1 counter and then shuffle. So our 6 mana Delph creatures can find a Traxa Grand Unifier, a 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven legendary Phyrexian Angel with flying, vigilance, death touch, and lifelink that then also upon entering the battlefield reveals the top 10 cards of our library and then for each card type we may put a card of that type from among the revealed cards into our hand. Now, for my fellow standard enjoyers, we all know what a bomb Atraxa is, and getting that card out on turn 3 or 4, which is very easily done in this deck, is just insane. Okay, so in order for this to happen on turn 3 or turn 4, we need to fill up our own graveyard so we can cast our Delph creatures. And in this deck, there are three ways of doing this. First up, and probably the most powerful, is Otherworldly Gaze, a 1-mana instant speed spell that surveils 3, which is looking at the top 3 cards and then putting any number of them into the graveyard or on top of our library in any order. With this, we're usually looking for a missing combo piece, which can be a Delph creature, a Neoform, or perhaps a third land, and the rest we will just toss into the graveyard. Now, the second self-mill spell is Founding the Third Path, which is a 2-mana saga that lets us cast a 1-mana or 2-mana sorcery or instant from our hand for free with its first chapter, and the second chapter mills us for 4, and the third chapter lets us cast an instant or sorcery card from the graveyard. The third self-mill spell is a new card from Ixalan, Will of the Forgotten, which has an option that says, look at the top three cards, put one of them into your hand and the rest in the graveyard. We can also play its other options with the send active, but usually we just care about the self-mill option. Now, it's important that we can protect our combo, so we have four thought seizes in the main to look at our opponent's hand and choose a non-land card from it that they have to discard. Whatever could disrupt the combo, we usually grab here or an important card to slow our opponent's game plan down. Now, another card to protect our combo is Stubborn Denial, which is an instant speed spell from Gens of Tarkir that counters a target non-creature spell unless its controller pays one. But if Ferocious is active, it just counters that in general, which is active as long as we have a Traxile or Rooting Mandrills on the board. Now, a Traxile upon entering the battlefield, finding a Stubborn Denial can be especially powerful and sometimes, rather than comboing off on turn three, you might want to wait till turn four so you can hold up blue mana and a Stubborn Denial to protect your Traxile if you expect the opponent to have removal. Now, the removal of toys in this deck is Fatal Push and Bitter Triumph to slow down aggro decks or combo decks that rely on creatures, like the new Amalia combo or Greasefang, for example. So this deck has honestly felt absolutely insane in Best of One, as you will see in the gameplay that's coming up. But the craziest thing is that this deck is actually like quite an optimized version, because the deck in Pioneer plays Soul Flayer and Tassiger, which are unfortunately not on Arena yet but they are much stronger creatures and, you know, add a lot more consistency to the deck. But for now, we have to work with the Sultai Scavenger and Hooting Mandrills. And you know what? It just gets the job done anyways, especially in Best of One. So, you know, for now, this is what we're working with. But um, yeah, these are some of the most fun and fast wins that I've ever had. <laughs> and hopefully you will enjoy watching the deck in action. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy what you're seeing so far, you can also check out some more of my own content over on my own channel. All right, shout out to Wizards of the Coast for letting me uh, make another video for you guys. And let's get into some turn three Atraxas. This is fantastic. I mean, ideally, we would also have like another Rolly Gaze. We're like a little bit slower than we'd like, but we see a Neoform and like a Delph creature. So off we go. Um, in an ideal world, I guess we'd have a little bit more interaction. Maybe, maybe, but... 
Um, okay, so I guess we might as well just start with a, you know, tap watery grave. Oh, we get a little hello. Let's give a hello back. Hopefully it's not BM because they have like the most explosive Boros like hand you've ever seen. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. You, you never know, honestly. Um, let's start off with... Uh, we're just going to do like founding of the third path here no matter what happens. So let's do a Blooming Marsh. And that's uh, third path, the first chapter. Let's get rid of the Warden of the Inner Sky with the Bitter Triumph. Um, we will discard a card to fill up our graveyard. And we're just going to get rid of the Botanical Sanctum, I think. Also, they're playing Boros Convoke, so try to protect your life out a little bit. It's just surviving till you slam in a Traxa, and then you're you're good to go. Okay, that's the Gleeful demo. This is probably in an ideal world followed up by Night Aaron of EOS for them. Hopefully not for us. <laughs> uh we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We already have two cards in a graveyard. We're gonna mill four cards. What's oh, a Luxodon? Alright, alright. It's pretty good too. I was thinking in like a standard mindset. So we're mill four cards. There we go. Uh, we should then be able to Soltai Scavenger for one. Oh, uh, that didn't go right. I was about to say that did not go right. I have to click on your graveyard. Um, actually, let's do this. We just keep the Bitter Triumph in there for the chapter. I mean, to be fair, like, it, we, we don't really lose here, you know what I mean? <laughs> if they find a way to remove this... We're bad, but if they don't, we're good. So I don't know. Um, choose up the four. Let's grab a new Neoform. Let's grab Hooting Mandrills. Let's grab a Fatal Push. And um, just a Mana Confluence, I guess. There we go. Alrighty. One Atraxa versus uh, the world. <laughs> An army of Boros creatures. Let's see. They're probably doing like math, seeing if they have enough to like push through this, maybe? Oh, of course, we hope the answer is no. Okay, Knight Aaron of Eos. So, what are they looking for? I don't think the Boros Act runs a lot of main board removal. I have a Fatal Push active anyways. That could hit that because of Revolt Trigger. Or we're going to like replay like Bitter Triumphs. Okay. Thalia. Yeah, they, they, wish, <laughs> they wish they had that a turn earlier. All right. Well... It's looking scary anyway here because uh look at that board. Atraxa's gonna put in a work have to put in a work here because it's <laughs> it's not looking uh Alright, let's do a bitter triumph. And let's uh discard a card. We're just gonna have to get rid of like the, the scariest creatures. So yep, that's right. And then I'll get rid of uh Might just get rid of this like overgrown tomb. Okay. So there's four in the grave right now. Can't hit these, unfortunately. Maybe we hit, like... Inspector? I mean, we could also just wait. We don't have to do this, like, right now. But the upside to doing it is that you... Uh, can also play Hooting Mandrills, which is why I'm thinking about it. Let's stack first here. Most important step. There we go. Um, as a 3-3 over here, that might be okay, to be honest. Yeah, sure, let's take it. That's a delve. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. 4-4 four, four blocker. Not too bad. All right, Atraxa, you need to swing a couple more times, and then we are good. That's fine. Um, we could technically get another Atraxa, but we don't have to. <laughs> um, yeah, target about a discards a card, we could do that. Step one, let's just swing, get another, like, eight points of life. Here we go. Return target permanent to their own its owner's hand. I mean, not really, right? Like, I think it's just... We could just make him, like, discard a card. It's just about surviving. 
a new Thalia. Okay, I'll just play my land out. I think we got it. I mean, they need to find like I gotta get lost or something, or like you have destroy evils and such of the sort. Oh, <laughs> they just gave up all. I mean, it's hard for these decks to like beat a turn three attracts, you know, like it's not easy. It's not easy. All right, another fantastic hand here that has everything we need. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can make anything happen here. Soul Scar Mage. All right. Let the races begin. Red Aggro. Well, the second we get that Atraxa down and it's looking like a turn three right now, we are good to go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be very exciting. We just have to survive. All right, we're going to get hit for two here. More than that? No, not more than that. Just yet. Even though they did have an instant. Let's fire off other Rolly Gaze. All the, all the Neo forms. Oh man, all right. Well, we got to fill up that graveyard if we want to fire off this turn three Atraxa. So, you know, secrets revealed, I guess. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> This is fine. This is fine. So we're still doing good right now. I can already fire this off, but obviously we kind of don't want to. I can just do otherworldly gaze. I can do founding of the third path. I can mill myself. I think I'll just hold up um, otherworldly gaze here. Play it a little safe, you know? Keep him guessing. The opponent manages like to remove... He tracks that up be pretty bad, but I think they understand right now what we're doing. So they're going to like speed it up here or they they probably think we're like doing well. No, I was going to say they might think we're doing like re reanimator, but there's literally two Neoforms in there. So like, <laughs> who are we fooling? Nobody. <laughs> All right. Hitting for six. Oof. More than that, maybe if they fire up this other light of the sage. I do love spectacle so much, though. Hope maybe uh, once we return to Ravnica, we could get it back. All right. A small eight points of damage coming our way here from Red Aggro. Let's otherworldly gaze, shove everything in a grave, and um, get that hooting mandrills, sacrifice it, and uh, hopefully it will do the trick. So let's target our graveyard here. One, two, uh, yep, I'll hold the wheel. Here we go. Hooting mandrills into. Atraxa. There we go. There's two in the hand, which is kind of awkward, but <laughs> you know, whatever. We make it work. Um, so I don't want Totsies. I do want Stubborn Denial. I'll get myself another, another Hooting Mandrills. I get myself a land and um, get myself a will. There we go. Let's get rid of an Atraxa, I think. I'm casting that anytime soon. We're kind of just going all in on um, the current attracts that we have. I hope it's enough. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So Kamano is going to buff up these prowess, prowess dudes. Okay. They're going to not attack. <laughs> it's so cheesy, but like, you know, what a perfect best of one deck for exactly that reason. Quick games. Quick on seeds. <laughs> okay, we got some thought seizes, we got an auto gaze, and we got a neo form. Let's find the stealth creature and win this game. Or we get thought seize. We get the rest in the. Oh, wow. Wait, is this maybe. What deck plays the rest in the main? What's that like? Discard uh, enchantment? <laughs> it could be. It could be that. Oh, they went after my thought seize. Oh, wow. That's kind of like surprising. I want to see what's up. Mono black. It might actually be like a waste not deck. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm going to get rid of Liliana. I probably need to get rid of like Extinction Event too, because it could hit my attracts of it. I like how their name is Power of Evil and they're playing mono black waste not, <laughs> I think, or just mid range. Um, but that's what it's giving. I absolutely love that dedicated to the to the flavor so yeah extinction event could eventually hit my precious atraxa but graveyard trespasser doesn't really uh i mean i as as you know players that need 
carts in the graveyard trespasser kind of tries to shut that down so on top of that whenever we get this attract so hopefully our stubborn, stubborn denial will be active as well so we can then just counter it that is the hooting mandrels that we're looking for but now it's about getting this timing right so what we're gonna do is we're going to i can just uh let me have a look here we're going to do hooting mandrills and we're going to boop 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 exile from our grave but we're not going to neoform right now we're just going to hold up that stubborn denial gyre reach sanitarium is also can be a problem so i'm thinking okay so if they activate that each player draws a card and discards so i just get rid of whatever they uh Whatever I draw first. It's not the end of the world. I think I'll probably just play this tomb. Pay to two life. Might just otherworldly gaze. We can afford to like pay to two there because, you know, we might just get uh, ourselves a track sub back. Just trying to figure out. Extinction event. We're gonna we're gonna counter that. Perfect. We're gonna swing with the mandrills. We're gonna grab ourselves a track saw. And then we hope, in an ideal world, we can hit a blue land and uh, hold up a stubborn denial. So let's get a Traxa here. Let's see. Mana Confluence. That's good. Stubborn denial. Perfect. Uh, let's get a new Mendril. So we get a new Founding. And I'm... Pr I mean, I could... I'm just going to grab Thoughtseize here. A Traxa, we love you. I mean, like... <laughs> kind of... Uh, yeah, let's grab that Waste Knot. They were actually Waste Knot gamers. I love that. All right, this game is basically one, especially with this, like, backup Stubborn Denial. I don't think there's anything they can do to, to get us here. What an amazing game. Love to see it. Okay, so we have the Otherworldly Gaze. We have a Delph creature. We have some interaction. Now, if Otherworldly Gaze could just get us that Neoform, we are good to go. <laughs> All right, that, that helps. Um... So, what's the play here? I think we just start off with the Otherworldly Gaze. So just, you know, fill up that graveyard. So our Delph creatures uh, are going to get very cheap. What is this? Okay. Interesting. Something Boros humans, maybe? I have no idea. Um, I already have my Delph creature, so I'm just going to fill up the graveyard. I'm just gonna fill up the grave. So we got four in there now. Um, we can do, we can do, we can do just like Thoughtseize here to have a look. What else is going on? Get Lost, Defiant Strike, Brave the Sands. I'm gonna get rid of that Get Lost because that could get rid of my uh, attracts that coming up. Now, this is where I could cast the Soul Dice Scavenger already. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave. I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. We can attack with it then, and then we can sacrifice its Neoform. Get ourselves a spicy turn three Atraxa. And maybe Atraxa can also find us Stubborn Denial, hopefully. Um, which will help to protect it against any removal that might show up. So that's going to be good. Um, Alright, let's start off with a swing here. Salt Eye Scavenger. Off we go. And then Neoform. Get ourselves an Atraxa. Turn three, by the way. <laughs> We're thriving. Okay, so what do we have? Interesting. I will probably grab a... I mean, we can definitely grab, like, something like a Beseju here. We can grab... Hooting Mandrels. Maybe just a Fatal Push. And... Let's grab a Will of the Rules then, because it'll help us look at some stuff. Cool. All right. Eight at Atraxa. Here we are. Here we are. Now, Stubborn Denial would have made me feel a lot safer, but it's okay. <laughs> a lot of the times, these deck can't deal, deal with it. And, like, just getting hit by one Atraxa is so painful. It doesn't look too bad. We got some good interaction. We have a Delph card here. We got a Will to hopefully look for a Neoform. I think it's a keep because of the early interaction we have. And Will hopefully finds this Neoform pretty quickly. Can't believe I'm, like, playing a deck like this. Like, usually these are not, like... The decks that I would I would opt for playing. It's not as bad as like taking like infinite extra turns, but you know. 
Oh. Heroic. Interesting. All right, yeah, we need to buy ourselves as much time as we can. So, uh, I think we're better off with a will at the moment. Move one of them into your hand. Um, maybe just a new otherworldly gaze. Okay. Put an upkeep still here. We can draw into the right cards. All right, monsters rage. Yep. Phonet realizes now what's happening, and they are gonna speed it up. All right, we got a neoform over there. I think probably like this. Put that neoform on top. Draw into it. Um, so this doesn't really work well with the Stubborn Denial. Unfortunately, once again, wish we had the other, like, um, Delph cards, but we'll have to wait till Pioneer Masters, I guess, till we get that. So till then, like, this is not even a deck, like, at its peak, right? And it's still already doing so good, so. I feel like trying it, though. I feel like trying it. I might regret this. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yep. Someone in Isle and other worldly gays. We're holding it up. Let's find out. The Fiend Strike? Okay. Fortunately, that's not a heroic creature and it's just a Monastery Swift Spare because if it was that double striker, <laughs> we might have been in trouble. All right, they're going to swing for four. Uh, I'm going to have to let it go through. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, there, there it is. The Illuminator Virtuoso. Um, yeah, I'm not going to work with the pain there. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to swing and then we're going to Neoform. Let's get ourselves in the track saw. All right, what do we hit? Fatal push, very necessary. Um, founding's fine. I was I was gonna say like I could just grab a you know, <laughs> besage or something, but there you have it, another Atraxa <laughs> winning the game. Nice. All right, one land. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, we're missing blue here. Okay, okay, we're getting a little bit of a challenge here. So this has got a lot of good cards in there. We have the new form, we have the Delph card, and we have the other rolling gazes to mill ourselves plus the founding. Biggest problem here is no lands, but um, other rolling gaze might just uh, get us there, I hope. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see if we can uh, perhaps put a land to the top and the rest in the grave because we do have to mill ourselves. Illuminator Virtuoso. All right. The Spice. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, these will have to go in here. Then again, I could... The Wolf of the Golden is spicy with the founding of the Third Path. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I can always recast it. So what if I just do this right here? So I can do founding of the Third Path... And then we can remove the Illuminative Virtuoso because I am a bit scared. <laughs> I am a tiny bit scared, so I will just pay the three here to remove that. I also put a stop on my upkeep at the same time because you might want to otherworldly gaze uh, before we draw our card um, to try and look for that third land that we might need. I mean, we do um, know ourselves, but that is... Uh... Ooh, do I... I want that one. Yeah, the rest can go. Here we go. So we'll draw our card first, and then we mill ourselves. And yep, just target myself again, I guess. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we have everything that we need. Um, is there two? Uh, is there one? Okay, okay, not really. I could already play the Soul Scavenger out, but you kind of open yourself, 
oh, like up to some interaction. So, you know, they could technically guitar or something or something else. So technically it would be safer to like thought sees first. But we could also just go for it, you know? I feel like I feel like I wanna go for it. <laughs> I feel like I wanna go for it. Oh, they're just gonna give it a shield counter. Interesting. Okay, I'm not too scared then. <laughs> you you're scared of a thought sees bestie. Here here's an Atraxa. <laughs> Here's an Atraxa on the... Was it turn three or four? Like, that's worse, I think. But yeah, let's uh, let's do this. So we're going to cast the... Let's just do the Soltai Scavenger here. Um, now, I wish we had Tazigur, I think it's the name, and um, the Soul Flayer, but we don't. So we're just going to have to do it with the with these Delph cards. But they'll do the trick, right? And that's what it's about. Um, because we are just going to cast this card for one. Here we go. And then we will new form, sacrifice the scavenger. And because it's six mana, we can get something worth seven. And that's where Traxa shows up. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're kind of looking for some interaction here as well. I could pick up a new... So I think I'm going to pick up a Fatal Push based on the matchup. We can pick up a Confluence. Probably a Will of the Forgotten to try and like help us get closer to... Um, maybe another new form if we need it. All right, we'll play that confluence out as well. I could delve again. I mean, <laughs> it's tempting, but it would give me another attacker. I think I might be better off. Actually, now nah, I'll do it. This is what we're meant to do, right? This is exactly what we're meant to do. Let's do that. So you might like, you kind of like, you know, Eventually, you don't really get like your descent value on the wheel, but that's okay. It's about like being able to look at three cards and grabbing one of them. And it's versatile enough to be like flexible, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna um, not block that. <laughs> You're, you can have it. I don't know how crazy they can get, but I do have eight life on the way back. So we'll see. Bless Defiance. Oh, wow. Plus it was your own lifelink. Shield counter. That's growing quite big. That is growing quite big. Not going to get rid of that anytime soon. Let's hope Atraxa helps us out, right? <laughs> Woo, go Atraxa! Oh. Well, <laughs> I guess it did. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We have... Mm, okay, so we're missing blue mana, and we kind of don't want these attractions into our hands. So let's uh let's ship it. Okay, so this is kind of a painful one, <laughs> but we do have a delve creature. We do have a founding. We have some considers. Okay, this is definitely worth the risk. Like even if we mill neoform, we could maybe get it with the third chapter of the founding. I think I'll do it, but I will definitely get rid of one Thoughtseize here because I'm not trying to take a bunch, like lose a bunch of life <laughs> super quickly. I also don't know what I'm up against, so um, it's going to be changing a thing or two as well. But let's have a look with Thoughtseize and see what we're up against. Oh, wow. Enchantments. That is very interesting. Um, Okay. I will probably just get rid of Touch the Spirit Realm, their interaction. Which is kind of what Thoughts is in this deck for, right? Like, we gotta we gotta shut down any interaction and let Atraxa just do her thing. <laughs> Shine her light. Make everybody happy. Alright, so I'm just gonna play the Besage job because I am not planning on losing so much life once again. So, yep, I will cast the Consider for free. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Um, now it's off to the races to find Neoform. So I don't hate getting another Thoughtsies here, but I kind of also do because I'm not alive very long and I really need to rush this Neoform, so. Rune of Might, all right. Something that has Trample gets more Trample. This brings me back to um, Kaldheim Drafts. <laughs> I did like them a lot. I really like Kaldheim Drafts. I was a big fan. All right, so we have a Fatal Push. That will help. 
Okay, we have some foundings here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's just do another mana confluence here. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to fatal push this. And then other worldly gaze. And then we're going to try to look for more neoforms. I wonder how they're going to play this one out. Generous visitor first. Do you have another way to buff something up? Another rune of might. Okay, so where is that 1-1 counter going? So, um, yeah, we still have to take out the Kami here. It's just about protecting our life total as much as we can, and I would rather not take five. We can also replay the Fatal Push with the Founding if we need to, but, um, yeah. These mana confluences also put us on, like, a timer, so let's get rid of the Kami here. Yep, they get that back. That's okay. We're just stalling. Let's uh, have a look with other worldly gaze. We gotta get that neoform. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No neoforms in that one. Okay. A new other worldly gaze. That's pretty alright. Um, I might just uh, play it a little safe here and fatal push this visitor. All right, clock is ticking. There we go, we remove that. It's so painful, <laughs> it's so painful. I also do want to other Willy Gaze. The thing is like, once we get the Atraxa, it will all be worth it. So, uh, yup, yup, let's do this. Let's uh, delve, let's have a look here. What do we, let's do some Thought Season, do a Consider, do a Land, a Whale. Get it like relatively cheaply here. Yup, Beta Green. And we got five more cards in there. I could also already other Rolly Gaze here and then do the Soul Dice Scavenger. Got the Atraxa. Well, even though we're getting like somewhat close to like hard casting her, let's not. <laughs> let's put a stop on our upkeep for these other Rolly Gazes. But let's first put another Scavenger in play. So we'll just get rid of um, all of these. Uh, probably actually... That doesn't really matter. It's fine like this. All right, let's go. Let's do that. Okay, so now freshly armed with two blockers. So, but um, yeah, Neoform, where are you? Where are you? We're almost through half of our deck. This needs to show up somewhat quickly, or uh, this game might not be ours to win. This is, of course, the downside to not having the right delve cards in comparison to like the pioneer version of the deck, Tassiger and Soul Flayer. Because Soul Flayer could do a lot. Like, Soul Flayer can kind of, like, turn into, like, a sort of a Traxa, right? Um, but we just have to work with the Hooting Mandrels and the Soul Dice Scavenger. It is nice for budget options, though. <laughs> it's a little bit more more vulnerable, for sure. Still cheesy enough to get the job done, though. More often than not. I would happily, like, trade for whatever it's worth, Bestie. <laughs> Say less, like... I just need one of them. All right, let's start off otherworldly gaze. See if we can get a neoform to the top. No, we don't. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. That is such a shame. All right, I'm just gonna put everything in a graveyard. Neoform, where are you? We believe. Okay. It's not where it's at. It's not where it's at. We gotta keep going. Oof. Also, two Atraxas in the grave already. Mm. Surely, surely one will show up soon, right? Surely, surely. It's also kind of scary because these can grow uh, pretty big. Other Rolly Gaze, let's try it again. Okay, I might actually need to... Well, the second I put that Soul Dice Scavenger on top, I kind of give up on the Neoform, right? I can't. I gotta put it in the grave. Founding the third path. Mm, okay. Well, <laughs> target player mills four cards. We might get a neoform. No neoforms. Ah. I mean, I guess I'll just play the blooming. I mean, man, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's rough. It's rough out here. I'll put a stop on my upkeep. Showdown of the Skulls. Ooh, that's pretty bad, too. I think we just don't have this. I mean, this is like what... It, it kind of is like, um... You know... 
all or nothing type of deck like that. And if four of your Neo Forums at like the bottom 25, you can do whatever it takes, but you're not winning. <laughs> you're not winning. Like maybe you can try a hard cast to the track sub, but you know, this is unfortunately also part of the deck. So at least it's realistic, you know, you get a, you get a good view of how some games can happen. I mean, I'm definitely dead here, but I would like to see if there's a Neo Forum at least anywhere. Still not. Oh, that's insane. All right, well, four Neo Forums stuck at the bottom 20. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Nothing we can do there. Part of the deck. Okay, so we got the other worldly gaze. We got the Neo form. We're just looking for like um, a Delph creature, but I also like the interaction that we have. So this is definitely a uh, this is definitely keepable. Ooh, opponent had a mole lot there. Interesting. Um, okay, Temple Garden. Now I'm getting like automatic like it's is this a new like Amalia combo deck? It could definitely be. I'm gonna just pass the turn though and see if I can uh, other worldly gaze or stubborn denial. Ooh, it might be. I guess this Grease Fang. People still like Grease Fang, right? <laughs> yeah, they do. All right, they do, they do. Interesting. Let's see what we can do here. Um, okay. This is not what we're looking for. We're just trying to like fill up the the graveyard here. Maybe the Thoughtseize isn't too bad, but... I mean, I could Thoughtseize Thoughtseize. It really depends though. I, uh, I also have to look for, like, my creatures, because without those, I don't stand a chance. Nah, we, we have to commit to the strategy, especially because we're playing, like, best of one, right? So, oh, well, <laughs> this is another thoughtsies anyway. Okay, well, we're playing against Grease Fang, so we're going to have to make sure that we, uh... Interesting. Fatal push. Twice. I see, I see. Okay. I see, I see. The unfortunate thing is that, like, we don't really have a way to trigger a revolt, but we'll see how that goes. They don't have a land drop either. I might just want to fatal push this for Fiend's Informant now, then. Yeah, we did take an extra, like, three points of damage, but... So this looks at three cards. This looks at three cards as well. We might just be better off instant speed. And holding up our uh, Stubborn Denial. Let's do that. I do think I want to have a peek with thought. Do I want to have a peek with Thoughtseize? I feel like I do. Okay, yeah, let's grab that chariot. Pass a turn. So we're looking for... Okay, Grizzly Salvage. I feel like that's a counter. I actually feel like that's a counter because that would not only give them a land, it could also help them get closer to Grease Fang. We just have to, like, take our time, you know? Um, I could do Will of the Forgotten right now and see if I can find one of my Delph creatures. They won't really be fatal pushable. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a look. Okay, I guess we'll grab the Neoform. Hmm. Okay, let's have another look then. No, <laughs> no, no. Give us the Delph creatures. We have a lot of those, so come on now. Don't be shy, Duck. Don't be shy. Okay. Let's try again. No. Not what we're looking for. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, this is not too bad against Grease Fang, I guess, but... We're nearly through half our deck and all of our eight Delve creatures are somewhere... at the bottom. All eight of them. <laughs> are... I don't know how to feel about that, but okay. Yeah. All right. Let's just uh, look at, do both, I guess. Target opponent discards. We look at the top cards. Top three. 
Hey, finally, we have a hooting mandrels. All right. So I could play that out right now, but it kind of gives my opponent another opportunity to interact. So I think I just uh, pass the turn here. You miss out on like five, four points of damage, but you kind of have to like just commit to this, right? Gets rid of a fatal. Okay. I guess I gave them an opportunity to thought seize me. Should have probably played around that actually. Oof. Definitely a misplay. Definitely a misplay. Should have. I didn't think they would keep that, but I guess they kept Thoughtseize over Fatal Push, which kind of makes sense, right? All right, let's just find it, try again. We still have we still have seven more, so should count for something. Actually, I already have a stubborn denial in the hand. Um, but if we pick that now, then okay, now nah, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's try this. I guess we could just uh, do some. Well, we should technically do like thought seizes. Hold on a second, because of the uh, the will that cares about our um, permanence in the grave. So I think we have like one left in the deck. No, not really, but it's a good habit to get into. That's Neoform and get the tracks off. Here we go. Uh, let's get ourselves a new Hooting Mandrels. Um, mana Confluence. Just the Founding. That's fine. I don't want to go like too full because we have 23 cards left right now. <laughs> so we don't have to go crazy with it. This Atraxa should just do the job, I hope. Bitter Triumph, we have Stubborn Denial. There we go. This is why I like Denial is so clutch in the deck. I mean, definitely did not play that flawless, but we got the win. <laughs> Let it be a learning experience for everybody.